ventilators recently, but there are people on them fighting to breathe, now in places like Montgomery, Alabama, where the ICUs are full this weekend. There is also, in this pandemic, sacrifice. 40 million people are jobless, another staggering, incomprehensible number. But there is also hope. New York State, the hardest hit by the pandemic, has seen its deaths plummet to below 100 a day from over 1,000. The lesson? A shared sense of duty to wear a mask, to keep our distance, to be mindful of the people and communities who are particularly vulnerable, and to keep them from being needlessly in harm's way, can save lives. This is Weekend Edition from NPR News. I'm Lulu garcia Bar. for the markets every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, available where podcasts are found. And from the NPR Wine Club, where every bottle tells a story, and NPR shows become wines like Weekend Edition Cabernet Sauvignon, available to adults 21 years or older. Learn more at nprwineclub.org. Stay with 90.9 WHYY for updates throughout the day and the latest on our region at whyy.org. Up next, astronaut Christina Cook gives Peter her best isolation practices. Wait, wait, don't tell me is next. Hello, this is Yo-Yo Ma. The last few months have been deeply sad, challenging us in ways we could not have imagined. Now I invite you to join me for music of beauty, strength, and consolation as I play Bach's Six Child Suites, a memorial for those we have lost, and a tribute to our resilience in a live performance from WGBH in Boston. Today from 3 to 5.30 on WHYY. When Mexico cooperates with Trump immigration policies, migrants and refugees seemingly disappear without the chance to legally seek asylum. It's the first of a two-part special on the Mexican border on Latino USA, this evening at 6 on WHYY. It's 10 o'clock. This is WHYY-FM Philadelphia, WNJN-FM 89.7 Atlantic City, WNJZ 90.3 Cape May Courthouse, WNJB-FM 89.3 Bridgeton, WNJM 89.9 Manahawkin, and WNJS-FM 88.1 Berlin. President finally appeared in public with a mask on. Well done, Mr. President. And while you do look really good as the Catwoman, the point is to cover your mouth. We'll ask what else he's been doing to keep himself healthy. Plus, astronaut Christina Cook, just back from the ISS, gives us tips on surviving in a confined space. And Bill Curtis finally tells us what he really thinks about his rival, Ron Burgundy. He was a jerk. We'll ask who really burned his bridges on the way to the top on our quiz coming up right after this hour's news.